Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our English learning podcast. Today, we have a special episode where we'll be talking about learning and improving English skills. Joining me is my friend Mark, who has some exciting insights to share. Hi, Mark. Hi, everyone. I'm excited to be here and share my journey of learning English. Mark, let's start by discussing why learning English is so important for our listeners. Absolutely. First of all, English is a global language that opens up countless opportunities for communication, travel. Education and career growth. It's the language of international business, technology, and innovation. Mastering English can significantly enhance one's prospects and interactions on a global scale. That's a great point, Mark. Now, can you share how you began your English learning journey? Sure. I started learning English in school. But I realized that to truly improve, I needed to immerse myself in the language. I watched English movies, listened to English songs, and practiced speaking with native speakers whenever I could. Immersion is such a powerful way to learn. Did you face any challenges along the way? Definitely, pronunciation was a challenge initially, but I practiced regularly. And listen to native speakers to improve. Grammar was another area where I struggled, but with consistent practice and guidance, I gradually became more confident. Practice and consistency are key indeed. Can you share some tips for our listeners on how they can improve their English skills? Of course, first and foremost, practice speaking as much as possible. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. It's all part of the learning process. Surround yourself with English media like movies, podcasts, and books. Additionally, find a language partner or join language exchange groups to practice conversation regularly. Those are excellent tips, Mark. How did you know when you had made significant progress in your English journey? I realized I had made progress when I could comfortably hold conversations in English without constantly translating in my head. Watching movies without subtitles and understanding them was also a milestone for me. That's wonderful progress, Mark. Do you have any words of encouragement for our listeners who are on their English learning journey? Absolutely, learning a new language is a rewarding experience that requires dedication and patience. Celebrate your progress, no matter how small, and don't be discouraged by challenges. Keep practicing, stay curious, and most importantly, enjoy the journey. As we continue our conversation, let's add a touch of nostalgia by sharing some childhood memories related to learning English. Mark, do you have any memorable experiences from your childhood that helped you learn English? Absolutely, I remember watching cartoons in English as a child, and even though I didn't understand everything at first, I picked up words and phrases effortlessly. It made learning fun and engaging. That's wonderful. Childhood memories have a unique way of shaping our language skills. I recall playing language games with my siblings, where we would quiz each other on English vocabulary. It made learning feel like a playful adventure. Games are indeed a fantastic way to learn. I also remember reading English storybooks with colorful illustrations. The stories not only improved my reading skills but also expanded my vocabulary. Storybooks are magical portals to language learning. I used to listen to English nursery rhymes and songs, which not only helped with pronunciation but also made learning rhythmic and enjoyable. Music is a universal language that transcends barriers. Another fond memory for me is participating in English plays and skits at school, acting out dialogues. And expressions improved my speaking and comprehension skills. 
That sounds like a fun and interactive way to learn. Our listeners can also incorporate such activities into their language learning routines to make it more dynamic and immersive. Absolutely, engaging with English through various mediums like stories, music, games, and drama can make the learning process enjoyable and effective. It's all about finding what sparks your interest and creativity. Well said, Mark. Learning English doesn't have to be daunting. It can be a joyful exploration of new words, sounds, and expressions. Embracing childhood memories and incorporating them into our learning journey adds a nostalgic charm to the process. Indeed, and let's encourage our listeners to share their favorite childhood language learning experiences in the comments below. It's a great way to connect, inspire, and learn from each other's stories. Absolutely, thank you, Mark, for this delightful conversation filled with insights and memories. And to our listeners, keep learning, exploring, and cherishing the joys of language acquisition. In the description of this podcast, we encourage listeners to engage in practice exercises such as storytelling, listening to music. Playing language games and acting out dialogues. Share your favorite childhood language learning memories in the comments below, and keep practicing to enhance your English skills. Happy learning! Thank you for having me on the podcast, and goodbye for now.